guys. Good afternoon. And I'm back for part three. Guys, this I'm TK. <laughs> y'all know I always forget to tell y'all. So if you're new here, I'm TK. If you're one of my faithfuls, hey guys, welcome back. So guys, remember this is part three of the paper towel seed starting, right? I told you I'm going to walk y'all through this whole process, me and my neighbor. So step one, we did it. <sighs> We got these done, you remember guys? Step one. Step two, I put them in. I actually put them inside the little seed starting containers and we cover them up. So I think I came here, the last time you saw me was Saturday and today is Thursday, so approximately five days, right? So we've had to cover on this for five days. We have some over here that we had covered a little too long guys, maybe six, seven days I don't know so don't cover it that long what happens is the seeds germinate when it's dark right but once it starts to pop up out of this out of the soil it is looking and searching for some light so make sure you pull it out within that four to five days okay so guys you're gonna see me uncover it they probably already uncovered it but I'm gonna show you how it looks once it's uncovered all right so as you can see it's starting to seek for light right so we'll keep this cover off we'll keep the cover off we won't put it back on and we'll keep this dome on probably for one to maybe two more days only because we have some that haven't germinated we don't have a hundred percent germination rate right now but we're pretty close to like 90% in each one of these. And you can kind of see that it's doing really well. So, guys, part three. I hope you guys are doing it. I know some of you guys are really falling it, especially my girls on the Black Women Homestead page. Shout out to you, ladies. Here's part three. And thank you for watching. And remember, there's healing in the soil. Until next time. Bye. Okay guys, since part three of my seed starting video was so short, I decided to let y'all in on my dirty little secret. Um, I heard one uh, gardener say, all gardeners have this one place that's a dirty little secret, right? Honestly, my dirty little secret is in my front yard. I'm going out the front gate right now. I don't want you guys to judge me. <laughs> I've been here for almost two years. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have someone come out on Tuesday because I'm not really into landscaping like that. But just to end our video, um, the seed starting video, uh, part three, I want to show y'all my dirty little secret. So I got these on yesterday. I'm going to, I'm going to have him put that out, but this is my dirty little secret, guys in my front yard, the front of my house. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just back out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, so y'all can kind of see it. Yeah, I really need to do some work on that. And over here, it's my dirty little secret, guys. <laughs> I thought that I thought it was so funny when they said every gardener has a dirty secret because it's so true like I just maximize my time in the back so I never have time to do anything in the front and I really don't want to do anything in the front to be honest I want somebody else to come do it and I just got my grass cut and it's already high so it needs to be cut again we have some rain and everything so the weather sorry about my hand um, the weather rain and warmth and I don't know if you can see all the yellow pollen everywhere, but the pollen is acting crazy. But yes, guys, that's what I wanted to show y'all. Wanted y'all to see my little dirty secret. So until later, remember guys, there's healing in the soil. Bye.